true, Quebec is going electric, and today we're visiting a company that's making it happen. Can you keep up? Did you know that TM4 in Boucherville is making electric motors? Let's find out more. At TM4, you do more than electric motors. Yes, uh, at TM4, we do complete systems. So we have inverters, motors, and also vehicle controllers. They can be integrated in an electric passenger car or a bus or even a recreational vehicle. And also now we are using our technology into even hydro turbines. And we recently created a joint venture in China to manufacture all these systems in what's going to be the biggest electrification market in the world. How does an electric car work? An electric car is pretty simple. You need a battery source, so energy uh, comes in uh, direct current into the inverter, and the inverter converts the DC current into alternative AC current, which in turn, in, in the end, turns the motor and makes the wheel turn. Tell me about the regen braking. Regen braking is actually the exact opposite. So the motor becomes a generator and the AC current is converted to DC current by the inverter, which in the end charges the battery. And your electric motor is unique. Indeed, because traditionally uh, in electric motors, the rotor, which is here, is inside the stator. But TM4 does the exact opposite. What we do is we take the rotor and we put it outside of the stator. Why do we do this? Well, torque is a function of radius and force. So if the radius is greater, then your torque will be greater. Your production line is automated. Yes, we have many workstations that are fully automated, like the one that does the copper coil. So it takes copper wire and makes many, many turns to form a coil that will eventually be used to carry current in the stator but there are also people working by hand in the factory. Yes, we also have semi-automated and manual workstations, like the one that inserts the insulating papers and copper coils in the stator. And what's the difference between the motor of a bus and a car? The motor for a car is small and turns at high speed to generate the necessary power for the car. So it's generally coupled with a transmission. And the bus? The bus is a much bigger motor turning at low speed and generating a lot of torque needed for the bus. And the TM4 technology will do that without the use of a transmission. So it makes for a simple system and more cost effective as well. And you also test your motor's durability. Yes, we have durability tests like high temperature aging that will simulate quickly many, many years of service. Like here we see an example of your test. Yes, this is a brand new stator and this one has seen thousands of high temperature aging cycles. It's less pretty, but does it still work? It still works, and for reference, our bus motor is designed to run up to 1 million kilometers. Oh, Quebec technology going far. Exactly. 